Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to make a GFX glossy. So basically, what you're gonna wanna do is you're basically just gonna gonna get like your avatar, then you're gonna gonna go to Lightroom, and Lightroom will be linked in the description, and Blender will also be in link in the description. Uh, don't mind this. Uh, hold on. Okay. Um. Anyways. Uh. Okay. So basically, you're going to um going to click up here you see my mouse you're gonna click um that thing right there like that little don't click on this like this pure gray ball you're gonna want to click on the thing next to it like that and it should take away that now you want to click on the file import wavefront obj and then just pick uh whatever one you want i'm just gonna go to my gfx filter and uh pick one okay so here's mine so you're gonna go to view navigation walk navigation just to like get the thing in like good area by the way this is suggested by this person on the screen right now uh yeah all right so then you're gonna want to like not pose it but like get a position of it then like yeah it's gonna be looking like this kind of okay now you see on my side like if you have more handles like that you're going to want to turn the roughness down. Like on the, if you're clicked on anything else on the side, you want to click on this red checker ball. It should say material next to it. Then you want to turn the roughness down all the way to zero. Then you want to click on the under handle. If you have another handle, like if you have a prop in your hand, you want to go to that other handle and turn the roughness down to zero. And turn the metallic right above it to whatever you like. Don't go above 600. I like going to six, 566 because it looks good. And don't mix, like, let's just say I turn this one to 589. Um, the whole GFX will look a little bit weird. And I have both 566. Right now, I might be like, oh, that looks very ugly. So next to, like, that little thing, like, you see how it turns like that and turns like that? Next to the colored thing, you should have that. And then click on it, and then it should change to, like, that. You can, ch you can change the lights to, like, whatever lighting you would like. Like, I'm just going to make mine, like, a bit yellow. But yeah, that, that's how it looks like. Then you can just click render, render image, and then it will take, and then you should start rendering on the bottom. Like, look, uh, ooh. okay. So, like, right here. Oh, hold on, let me just move this up a little bit. Oh. Alright, I don't think I can move it up. But right here, if I can zoom in on it, then I will. Um, but right there. See? It says it's a percentage of it. And that's how you know what it is. So, yeah. And then it should be rendering like on the screen right here. And once that little thing gets to 100, then, yeah. But we have to keep waiting. For me, mine stops at 94. Nine, nine, and it just is there for like a few, like, minutes. Like, for like two minutes or something like that. But once that thing disappears, you can click on image, save as and then save as image all right and that's how you make a glossy gfx oh that's um very yellow in the back okay and that's how you make a yellow a uh, glossy gfx if this helped anyone like a gfx creator um uh, make sure to like and subscribe and yeah that's pretty much it and then it should and once you click save and then it should just be like on your desktop right here right there and yeah there you go your own on background gfx if you guys want a tutorial how to make um a background for your gfx i will be showing you and yeah i'll be showing you how to make a background for your gfx if you want me to make one comment it down below okay bye bye